All right, here's problem six off the math subject GRE practice exam. Kind of a fun little problem. They give us these three numbers and ask us to write them in increasing order. Um, so the square root of two, the cube root of three, and the sixth root of six. There might be some clever logic where you can just look at these and figure it out, um, but I'm not clever enough. But what I am clever enough to do is recognize that all of these are positive numbers. So if I raise them all to any positive power, uh, the order will not change. Right, if, I don't know, 5 is smaller than 7, so 5 squared must also be smaller than 7 squared. So I could square all these numbers if I felt like it. I'm not going to. I don't feel like it. But what I do feel like doing is raising each of these to the 6th power. 6 coming from uh, the least common multiple of 6, 3, and 2 here. Essentially, I'm trying to get rid of the exponents. So if I raise everything to the 6th power, I have 2 to the 1 half to the 6th. I guess I can write that out. I have 3 to the 1 third to the 6th, and I have 6 to the 1 sixth to the 6th. And you have these exponent rules that say when you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you multiply those exponents. So this guy right here is really 2 to the 6 halves, aka 2 cubed. And this guy is 3 to the 6 thirds, aka 3 squared. And this guy is 6 to the 6 sixths, so 6 to the first power. So now I just got to order these guys. Well, 2 to the third power is 8, 3 to the second power is 9 and 6 to the first power is 6. So what that's telling me is that this guy is the smallest, 6 to the 1 sixth power. Uh, here's 6 to the 1 sixth. And then the second smallest is 2 to the 1 half, which is this guy. And then the third smallest, the largest, is 3 to the 1 third, which is this guy. Looks like my answer is C.